We go back to the logical topology. We will organize our topology. Here we have the three axis points. Here we have the server. And here we have the wireless controller. This the laptop uses to manage my wireless control. And these three devices normally should be connected when we finish the wireless configuration to this axis points. Okay, the first step is to power on this wireless axis point. Click on each axis point and plug this power for each axis point. Power on your axis points. You have this power connected to your uh, power port and your axis points. The first step is to the IP addressing. We have to uh, uh, addressing for, uh, of uh, your wireless uh, LAN controller. We will add the IP address that be, uh, should be used to manage this uh, wireless uh, controller, subnet mask, the default gateway, and uh, the DNS. Access to the wireless controller, config, management, here we will move this and uh, replace it by the 192.168.1.254. The subnet mask 255.255.255.0. The gateway 192.168.1.1. And the DNS 192.168.1.10. This IP address should be used to access through the web browser from the laptop to manage the wireless control. This uh, the first uh, configuration for the wireless controller. For the laptop, Shabab. For the laptop, uh, <coughs> we can use config or from desktop IP and we have to add the IP address 192.168 for example, 1 then subnet mask, the default gateway 192.168.1.1 and the DNS server 192.168.1.10. Normally when we finish the configuration, this laptop will receive IP from the DHCP server. But first of all, I will use a static IP address. Uh, for this point, normally don't have, the, don't put the same IP address to the DNS. Here, for example, we'll put uh, 11. This is the IP address for the laptop. But first of all, we use it like uh, static. Like uh, when we finish the configuration, uh, we use uh, the, the HCP. Okay, no problem, no problem. Normally put an IP address, uh, unique IP address for each device. But normally when we use the HTTP server, each device will receive a different IP address from the HTTP server. Now we will configure the server and we will start by adding an IP address for the server, then to configure the DHCP uh, server. Go to the server, config, we have here the interface, fast ethernet, the IP address for the server, the example that we use here, 1.11. The IP address for the server, 192.168.1.11, then the subnet mask. This is the addressing for the server. 
Now we will configure the DHCP. We go to service here, click on service, then select the DHCP server on. Select on to start the service as a server, as a service alpha. Then put the default gateway 192.168.1.1. We can change the name, but leave the name the same name server, or we can give a new name. DNS server 192.168.1.10. IP address 192.168.1. The start IP address. For example, start from 100. The subnet mask, this is subnet mask, the maximum number of users, for example, 100 users. And uh, the wireless LAN controller is uh, the specific IP address that I use for the, the management. Here we are, 254-192-168-1254. If you use any other IP address, just uh, Put it, but take care to have the different IP address. Save, and you have your information saved here. Now I finish configuring my server. Now other devices connected to this server, they can detect DCP and receive iPads. Go to the laptop. Go to the laptop, yes. And select DHCP. If the laptop connected to the wireless control. You see here you receive an IP address and all information needed from the DHCP. Now we will start to manage our wireless control. Wireless, go to, uh, we will use the, the web browser to access to our wireless control. Access to the laptop, go to web browser, then here we put the IP address, the management IP address selected for your wireless control. This IP address is 192.168.1254. Wait a few seconds to uh, open the uh, interface or uh, the web interface for your wireless control. Now we have this uh, interface, Cisco 2500 series, series wireless line controller. Configure the accessing to securize the access to this uh, wireless uh, controller. We create a username for the management, like ma manager account, admin. For the password here, normally we need uh, to specify this password. And uh, normally when uh, you can see the message, the password should be uh, uh, lowercase and uh, numbering. For example, a, D, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that can, don't forget this password. Ah, ah yes, it's a uh, uh, Normally, uh, students who should uh, have password must contain at least six characters, including upcase, lowercase, and number special character. Yes, but remember this password. Start, start. Now we have to uh, configure the main configuration for the uh, Cisco. The first is uh, the system name, for example, CCSIT23. Then uh, we use the management IP address. The IP address used for our controller, controller wireless control, 
255.254 subnet mask 255.0 then the default gateway 192.168.11 then you click next here we have uh, management vlan normally we don't modify anything in this uh, part we click next here we will create uh, we will add uh, the first wireless network for example std for example std studio Security protocol, we will use the first one with the A2 personal because it's the easy one. The second one needs to use a server with the A2 enterprise. For us, we will use the first one with the A2 wireless protected access to personal. And we will use the password or the passphrase or the network ID from 0 to 9, like an example, but the easy cracker. And we have to confirm this password. Then we click on next. Now we finish this configuration, we click next. And here we will see all information that we add, username, system name, who distribution system name, or virus controller name, IP address, the management IP address for my, the, wireless LAN controller this is the network that they add and here we will click apply to apply this configuration for my apply click on ok this will take a minute but normally for the simulation just you close you wait a few time and you close and you receive uh, uh, the need information Unregistered in your uh, wireless LAN control. Close this, and now we will wait uh, or click uh, fast forward time to have this uh, uh, connection ready. Now we will access with the new uh, username or a, a new account. Uh, to continue managing our wireless uh, controller from the laptop uh, normally one we uh, we use the one account because we have one wireless controller but we will add more than one wireless network through this uh, uh, wireless control we will uh, access to the laptop then the web browser and close and go to use this don't wait a lot of time he will not close from itself here we will add you will use the management ip address 192.168.1.254 and press enter server reset connection here we need a secure connection HTTPS but just add S after P and press enter and now you have to log in to your wireless controller the username admin that he add uh, that he create and uh, the password AD126 then Login here. This the interface. Now we go to from the first uh, the, the home page. Here we have our wireless controller. Normally, here we can see access, uh, access point summary, and we will see wireless. Uh, 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 networks that I uh, configure. I have only one new, uh, student. I can manage this uh, or modify or edit this uh, uh, wireless LAN. For example, uh, just click uh, here to uh, uh, 
profile name, for example, I put it uh, student. For example, if uh, I need to modify the security, here we have the WPA2 and WPA, the security protocol. Here we have uh, the WPA policy and encryption, uh, AS and the pre shared key. And here I have uh, my passphrase here from 0 to 9. And uh, if I do any modification, just click apply to save this. If I need to add other networks, we go back here and uh, create new. Click on go and you will add a network, for example, uh, for uh, employee. The profile name, uh, SSID, EMP, for example, and apply. Here we will manage the security level. We select uh, the security level for W uh, WPA and WPA2, the WPA policy. Uh, AS encryption and appreciated key and we use uh, the pass uh, phrase from 0 to 9 here we need to uh, select uh, we uh, apply first of all I need to select here enable if uh, to uh, show or to see your network uh, you need to select this uh, Enable to uh, broadcast your SSID and click apply. Back and we add the third network for guest. SSID, we use the same. Apply. Enable and the security level from WPA, WPA2, yes, yes, no problem. We select the uh, WPA2 policy encryption and uh, we use, uh, we can use different uh, protocol, security, uh, different security level. And normally we have the appropriate one to add them uh, uh, the 802.1x uh, this we will use uh, the server and we will use username and password like uh, that we have in our college we use username and password yeah, and for accessing not we use uh, the pre-shared key the pre-shared key is the easy form the easy form like uh, a shared uh, secure uh, password that we share together to permit this action uh, this access uh, for the 802.1x, uh, this uh, to each uh, one need uh, to have username and password or register on the server to access to this network. Inshallah, we hope, but uh, we, uh, if we have enough time, but inshallah, we do wait for your project. Apply, then uh, apply here, and uh, normally uh, uh, we uh, go back to yes. Yes, yes, from zero to nine. And we go back. Normally here we have our three uh, networks. Now we, not uh, we need to check our access points if they receive uh, this wireless networks. We go to our topology and normally we check for each access point if uh, they receive this uh, network. Normally each access point should uh, have a DHCP Connection. Click on the first access point, config. Now here we have the DHCP, but select static, then go back to the DHCP. Now we need to receive the DHCP and the DNS server. Okay, and normally here uh, you will check to if uh, the access point distribute your wireless. You will wait a few time. We do it for other access points. Config, static, DHCP. Uh, first of all, we have uh, things to do uh, here. Do uh, uh, add the DHCP configuration before go there. DHCP. Ah, yes, for uh, lightweight access points. 
Now for the configuration for the laptop, you have here save configuration. The main menu of your uh, wireless controller, click save configuration and click OK here to permit uh, to your uh, wireless SAN controller to save all uh, configuration that you add here. Networks normally after when we save this configuration. When we click save configuration, normally, uh, if you go here to wireless, uh, to see your access points here, save configuration and select here. To see your access, your access point, you have to save configuration first of all here. Then go to each access point and select static and then go back to the select DHCP. The same for all access points. Select DHCP and you need to see your gateway and DNS server appear in your in this window. Okay. Now we have this access points with three networks students, employee, and guest. Now we can connect our uh, and device. For example, we go to the laptop, then config. We need for this uh, laptop, we need to add a wireless card. We go to physical, power off your laptop, Remove the wired card and plug in the wireless card, then power on. Then from config, go to wireless zero, add the name of a network, for example, STD for student. We appreciate key, select the protocol, use it, then the passphrase from zero to nine. And normally here you will see your laptop should connect to, yes, that you add to your network. For the top to go to a config, wireless, for example, this. That's the capital. We pay per share key from zero to nine, the first phrase. And for the smart device, desktop uh, config wireless zero, for example, here, uh, employee. And uh, the we pay per share key from zero to nine. Start to do a test the ping between this device. We use uh, automatic. If you check here, for example, the ping successful. But if you put the mouse on each hex point, you have uh, the uh, yeah, because the wireless uh, detect uh, directly from the uh, access point from the DHCP server. And we can do the ping between the server and this uh, access points between the laptop, the wired part of the network. Uh, 